Hello, my name is Richard Farmer and I've been practicing and studying Tai Chi for 30 years now. And this sequence we're going to show you is specifically designed to support you in your journey with breast cancer and particularly help you as you go through the treatments. Especially if there is any surgery, it'll help you get back into movement again. The essence of Tai Chi is stillness and movement. And these movements generate a healing flow if you follow the, the following points. As you move, relax. Be soft in yourself. As you move, allow a sense of uh, poise or stillness in your spine. As you move, breathe. Let the movements help you breathe and let your breathing help the movements. And finally, as you move, a sense of being present, of being in yourself. And just for this period of time, and have let go of history. So what makes these movements Tai Chi are two principles. The first principle is what we might call natural limit or soft limit. So it means moving in such a way that the, the actions caress you rather than, say, movement as workout. And so this principle allows your tissues uh, to become more fluid and to kind of undo themselves. And the second principle is the principle of mirroring, which allows the stronger element of you to accompany the more vulnerable element of you. And so when we make a movement that involves, say, both arms, the stronger arm, the more healthy arm, or the more healthy side of your body uh, joins uh, the, the part of your body that's affected or more vulnerable. And together then, they create a sort of harmonious movement as opposed to a movement that's kind of fighting with itself. And so with these simple things in mind, let's begin our movements. And just find a balance between the heel and the ball of the feet. And a sense of um, poise in your spine as you stand. And as you breathe out, just sink down. And as you breathe in, just let the arms raise up with the in-breath. Nice and relaxed. As you breathe out, let the arms float down. As you breathe in, let the arms float up. Arms come down, breathing out. As the arms lift, create space, breathe in. Just to harmonize your breathing and your movements. That's great. Just take uh, your palm of your left hand and put it on your right shoulder, just feeling the muscle of your chest. And just explore a movement out to the right with your right arm. And just feeling for where that movement starts to caress the chest and open the shoulder joint. Bring it back. Be very conscious of that movement. Very relaxed with that movement, at ease in your skin. No need to be tense, just find the place of openness and come back. And to the left side, just take your right palm, just find a good fit. Just open. Just really experiencing the joint, experiencing the muscles. Just feeling where that, uh, that movement, that gesture can caress and open the muscles and the joint. That's the principle of uh, natural limit. And then the principle of mirroring, just working with both arms now, and just letting the strong arm stay or mirror with the vulnerable arm. So if you have a restriction, let's say on the right side, you just let your left side mirror 
Opening as you breathe in. Relaxing as you breathe out. Again, a simple sense of harmony. Breathing, moving, opening, closing. Just opening the, for the right side now, I'm just going to open up the right arm, getting a vertical curve. Just feel how that gently touches this right side here, and then just come back down. And very aware, very conscious on this side. And just see how that just gently opens the left side of your body. feeling for the movement as a caress, and now the principle of mirroring both arms. And to see how that comes across through the shoulders, through the chest, so it's an upward circle. And then down. And opening your left foot, and keeping the weight on the right, just finding that vertical circle. And just leaving the arms where they are, just bend to the left. Breathe out to the left, come back. Breathe out. Just notice how your right side is now opening without having to do anything with your arms. Just let that movement caress the right side. Open the weave of the tissues of the muscles. Just come back to the center. Relax down. <clears throat> Just change the weight. Keep the weight on the left side now. Again, lifting, getting that structure through the shoulders, through the chest. And as you breathe out. Just listening for a point of elasticity on that left side. As you breathe out again, so not pushing, not forcing, just listening and honoring those tissues, those muscles. Come back to center, drop the hands. And so the left hand onto the right shoulder. And we're going to explore our circle. So coming forwards, as though for the first time, moving your shoulder, moving your arm in a circle that opens up the chest, the shoulder a little bit wider this time. Bring your awareness, bring your softness, sense of stillness in the movement. So that's the principle of soft limit, principle of natural limit, as it were, the principle of uh, movement as caress. So try not to let one set of muscles be overly tense in order to release another set. So both sets of muscles are relaxed. Excellent. And now the mirroring. You may find with both hands that um, there's kind of added movement, added stretch. Just uh, be careful there. This time you're going to sink down. Cross your hands, lift. As you breathe out, sink. Breathe all the way out so you can breathe in. One more time. Breathe all the way in. Opening, clearing the space, 
Just let it settle. And as though your hands were, were like a paintbrush, you're going to paint a circle here. Just let the circle go all the way around, just listening to the different parts of your body that it touches. It's not about touching the floor or any kind of competition with yourself, but just find a circle that's really easeful. If you like, breathing out as you go down. If you just listen to the body, it will naturally start to breathe in the right place, so don't worry about it. You get to the bottom here, then changing the direction. Just being aware of the shift of the weight. And at each degree of the circle, there's something different happening. Just be aware of that. And just let your arms come down, just coming back to the center, as it were. Just take a little, little shake if there's any congestion in the, um, in the ankles. <coughs> and just standing one more time. Again, centering in the middle of yourself. And this next movement is to sort of help you, these next series of movements is to help you uh, just expand your energy a little bit. So, the sense now of a, of a gesture to the right. And just Turn the body until you feel a kind of natural point of elasticity and come back. And then try the same this side. Be very aware of the movement and come back. And so this time we're going to a sense of welcoming the right side or expanding to the right side. So often there's a lot of fear around, which is contraction. So we, we fall in on ourselves. And so this movement here, just in the privacy of your own home, a sense of really letting yourself open up, and fill the room, fill the space. And now we're going to just create a circle here. And now we're going to do the same thing. Just listen for that soft limit. That movement that caresses the whole back and come back. As you breathe out, squeezing the lungs. As you come back, creates more space for the lung. One more time. That's great. Breathing in, coming back, and then the other side. Feeling a sense of grace, fluidity. I'm going to take a step forward now. In the sense of expanding the circle out. So as we do that, we're encouraging our, our energy system, encouraging our energy system and our horizons to open up. And so it's not just the expansion, but there's that sense of opening also. Welcome. Just in this moment, letting your energy system, letting your body, letting your mind working with the breathing, let it expand forwards, just feeling the gesture, let it open you, center, expand, just within that changing the step, just this side, breathing out, breathing in. Here am I.
moving, breathing. Experiencing the gesture, experiencing the move. Just coming back to center. Just finishing the final exercise now. So just lifting, breathing in, and breathing out. And be receptive to the gesture. Let it touch you. One more time. Just simply standing, very present, very relaxed. And take this into your day. So just a couple of things to finish with. The first thing is that these movements are really safe. So you don't need to worry about injuring yourself with them. The second thing to say is that they're really flexible. So for example, if you're having a day where you're not feeling so strong, you can sit down and just do them sitting down. Or you can just do them as a sequence once each or you can do them, as we've done, as a sequence of three times each. So they're, they're very flexible in the sense of, of how much time they can take. They can literally take one minute or they can take ten minutes. They can flow with you uh, how you feel. When to do them? Anytime. Where to do them? Anywhere. Uh, they, they just work and they're there for you. So make them yours and you'll have a wonderful time and enjoy them. Thank you.